Look at this, I don't even know where I am. <laughs> Hello everybody. In this video, I am going to be sharing some really cool top five tips because I've been getting lots of comments on like asking how to do these things. So I just thought, let's make a video about it to make it easier. So easy. Make sure to stay tuned because there is a really exciting one you can turn into your horse. So stay tuned for that. Let's get into it. But the first one will be how to lunge. So just to make it better, you go into the lunging arena. I always get confused because I think it's that one, but it's actually that one. So if you get a horse out, so if you ride her, put her into the middle. You need, you need like the little icon out. So if you, oh, and then you go back on, you lunge. Sometimes it does take like seven years. All you do is like you dismount, you go back on for a few times, you get off and then you click lunge like two times. And then if you come behind your horse, it'll say lunge. So you just hold that there. And it'll kind of look like you're walking on the horse. And then you're just lunging your horse like this. Come on, show the people what they want. And it's really cool as well because you can get people to um, sit on the horse so it's like you're lunge training them. So that's really cool. But you kind of just stand like a zombie. Now let's move on to the second thing. If you're just riding, let's just say you're having a ride around the arena and you want to come off. But your legs get stuck like this. And it's like you've been frozen. And you can't move anymore. So. If you're mobile, you have to click, there's a little ragdoll sign and you just click that. But if you're on PC, click R for ragdoll and then and your legs are back to normal. So yeah, that's because um, I remember when I used to do that and it was really annoying. I was like, oh my God, what do I do? So it was just like, I had to get back on the horse and it was really annoying. But now all you click is R. Ah, I'm dead, guys. Anyways, before we move on to number three, do you think you can maybe like, subscribe and comment down below? Because it'll really help my channel so much. And for everyone that's been doing that, thank you so, 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 so much. I really appreciate it. But now on number three, the settings, like the day settings. So on here, let's say in game time, so this goes in a 24 hour clock. So if you put 24, then it'll literally be um, midnight. So it'll be really dark like this. And then when you put it back to 11, so let's just say 11 in the morning, it'll be 11 in the morning. And it's really good because if you want it to be like nine, that's nine in the morning. And the sun position, it isn't really much. It kind of just, it kind of just like, moves the position of the sun around it was over there but it's there now so it doesn't really make a massive difference but some if you want some shadows then that's really good as well and then for fog so if you do 0 0.1 nothing no fog at all clear skies it's so clear really good quality as well but if you put let's put 0. Three. It'll be a little bit worse. Let's do four. I, I, I don't actually know what. Oh, where am I? There's the outdoor arena. Help, help. And if you don't want it to be foggy so you don't get lost, like I definitely would get lost. Look at this. I don't even know where I am. We are so lost. <laughs> and then if you put 0 0.1, then it'll be as clear as day. And that's what we want. We do not want fog. And also, if you want it to be super cloudy, you could do one. Number one's like super cloudy, like it's about to rain. But if you want it to be a nice sunny day, put it to zero. And then there's no clouds in the sky. Now, how to lead. I've also been getting quite a few questions about this. Oh, she didn't get stolen. Well done. I'm so proud of you. Okay, so to do this, you're going to have to mount your horse and then click the little white horse button. And if you go on to rider poses and then scroll down, there's lead walk, lead stand. So lead stand's like where you just stand with your horse. And lead walk is where you walk with your horse. You don't instantly walk when you click lead walk, you have to walk your horse. But 
you build, you do this with bridle, but I've not got a bridle on right now. So it does look better when it has a bridle on. When you run, your character kind of changes as well. Woohoo! Oh, oh, okay. So on this one, it's really good if you do stride wave videos. Because if you go on settings again, there's this little thing called fluff. And you can zoom in like, hello! So that's really good if you're doing like YouTube videos. Okay, now, if you're still here... I'm flattered by the way, thank you very much. You get to see the really cool one where you can become your horse. It, I love becoming my horse because it's just so funny. I find it really funny. So again, if you mount your horse, go onto settings and then click this little rider button here. Some people say, oh what's that? And some people click riding prompt, it's not. You click the white the little white horse logo and then here you are you have came a ghost and your horse is just by yourself when i started joining stradway i didn't know it actually existed and i saw horses running by themselves i was like how do they do that and it took me a lot of googles because stradway wasn't that popular at the time we woo and you can just kind of do whatever you want but you're not there so yeah and just do the same again if you don't want if you want to click that again if you want to see your normal self so yeah that that's actually one of my favorites anyways guys thank you so 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 much for watching make sure to like subscribe and comment down below if any of these five tips and the bonus helped you because they definitely helped me when i did some research thank you so much for watching make sure to like subscribe and comment down below bye